<laughs> I am Nesmu Vazita. And I have just discovered that Windows 10 will automatically install Candy Crush on the machines that have that operating system installed on it. What is wrong with them? They lecture the world on democracy, yet they force the electronic equivalent of heroin on Windows users. I hope they have an uninstall option that doesn't up the operating system, requiring a reinstallation of Windows 10. INCLUDING Candy Crush, as if that <laughs> happens, then those <laughs> can go shove it up there. Is Has that, or will this move some over to Apple? Or do they think that all Windows users play that? Considering that some AAA game companies like Konami are moving towards the mobile market and practically spitting on games that don't sell as well as they'd like. I'm thinking... Yes. What differences are there between a group of politicians and a sack of potatoes? Well, for a start, potatoes don't talk or at all. Potatoes are more tolerable to look at. You can get rid of potatoes easier. For example, you can cook them and eat them, which, unlike with politicians, is legal. This isn't Texas Chainsaw Massacre! And they have many other uses. Too numerous to mention in this video. Any other differences that I missed? Put them in the comments. That's... And I'm being generous about this. Profession seems to attract the inbred, the idiotic, and the morally bankrupt. The inbred at least in Britain, have been known to be narrow-minded, bigoted, and irony deficient. The idiotic, even at the best of times, don't know what they're doing. They don't realise that the decisions they make have the opposite effects of what they intended. The morally bankrupts are the worst of these three. They know what is needed for positive change. Yes, do the wrong thing anyway. And sometimes use religion as an excuse for their actions. Guilt for them is beneath them. It's always someone else's fault for their mistakes. A band of sociopaths and psychopaths. To them, what many would consider right and wrong is just misguided idealism. Right.
that chicory part drop off at an awkward moment and deliver flatulence of such strength. They knock out all that are in the same room with them. Disturbing, isn't it? Now for updates. Dark Souls 2 Cursed Pilgrim. Making good progress on that one. It's on holes until I catch up with uploads. I've gathered some upgrade materials off camera, which I use to upgrade weapons and armor, and use the souls to fill up on the Special ammo. After episode 56, no souls, except that which was gathered after the points at the end of that video we used to level up. Don't want to be too overpowered. Final Doom TNT Evolution. Still uploading through that one. Team Fortress 2 NMS Kill Time! I'm recording a few more of those while waiting for the other two to catch up. Which shall be completed first? Dark Souls 2, including all DLCs, or Final Doom? Depends on which I finish first. And then, I can start something new. Speaking of which... If any of you are interested in doing some voice acting for my series, Dark Souls 2 Cursed Pilgrim, please contact me, and I'll make a note of it when I get to a boss battle. The voice acting is for those that don't have voice acting already, such as player-controlled summons. Oh. And this will not require you to be able to play Dark Souls 2. As for the rumoured futuristic Bioshock game, they might as well call it System Shock colon this title here, as it seems like a prequel. <sighs> Why not? Square Enix did it with Deus Ex. My advice to those who are making it is... Don't s*** it up. Or you shall know our wrath. Hail the rabbits!